The only <laughs> thing for me is it's doable. At the end of Jared Goff's contract, you got to start paying these guys. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to pay Amon Ross St. Brown because his contract will be up because he doesn't have that extra year because he wasn't a top draft pick. You're going to have to pay eventually Aiden Hutchinson, Penny Sewell. Obviously, we all love Malcolm, Kirby Joseph, all those guys. You're going to have to pay them if you want to retain them. And that's where you, you get a rookie quarterback, you bring that in, so you have the flexibility to pay the guys that have proven to be yeah. elite. Can I ask you guys a question? Philosophically. Yes. The team's offensively looks complete right now, right? It looks like it's a solid offensive. I'm not saying it can't get better, but I'm saying yeah. as a core, it's pretty complete. The defense is starting to come along. Are you willing to waste two years on a rookie learning the system if the team is already put together the way it is? Yes. Or are you more comfortable leaving it in a Jared Goff's hands? Because that's where I am with the team, and that's why I like Jared Goff so much. Like, If the team's good, I don't need a guy to come in and learn. What I need is a guy to come in and not mess it up. And Jared Goff is the guy that not that cannot mess it up. Now, obviously, there's been examples of it working, like yeah. uh, an Alex Smith and a Pat Mahomes is probably your ideal situation yeah. when you're drafting a young quarterback, let him sit behind for a year, then he takes over. But we've also seen it not work with a Jordan Love, and you're kind of seeing it with a Trey Lance, even though that's injury-related. Mm-hmm. It's still the same type of concept. They had a guy in place that was good enough. Not great in Jimmy G, but good enough. Well, are you okay sitting through a rookie learning curve with this team if they're put together? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. I am yeah. Because I, I agree with what you said about, yeah, the, the Alex Smith, Patrick Mahomes. That's, that's ideal. That's, that's ideal. You know, the, mm-hmm. the Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, that's ideal. The uh, Bledsoe Brady. Bledsoe Brady, Joe Montana, Steve Young. Like, like that is something that I, – I wouldn't call this Bledsoe Brady, though, because that was more they, – they weren't drafting Tom Brady to be the in, next yeah. guy. They For drafted sure. him in the sixth round, and he happened to be there when Bledsoe got injured and never relinquished Dak it. Dak Romo. Maybe that's what's happening with Purdy, Dak Romo. Maybe that's what's happening going on later. You know, you look at a Russell Wilson. Where you, you paid Matt, Matt Flynn? Flynn. You paid yeah. Matt You're Flynn. welcome, Matt Flynn. And then you, this fourth rounder that's why it's okay beats to him out five. in his first year and ends up winning a Super Bowl. You know, and, and then he turns to dust and gets traded to Denver, and now he's super cringe and terrible football. But <laughs> it's uh, it's important to have that option to at least because if you have a Nate Sudfeld, that's never going to be the case. But if you, I'm not saying, and I've said it multiple times already this year, my n- number one wish list in this draft for the Detroit Lions is Jalen Carter, Joey Porter Jr. That would be the best thing that could happen to the Lions. If Jalen Carter is taken and he's gone and Bryce Young's still there, I'd want Bryce Young. Well, that's who they had us taken in the mock draft today, the Tom McShay mock yeah. draft 1.0, was Joey Porter with the Lions' actual pick. With the Rams' pick, they had us taken C.J. Stroud. Yeah, yeah. I don't want C.J. Stroud. I feel like C.J. Stroud is very similar to golf on how he's... I think he's a bit more mobile. He's, no, he's not that mobile. That's the thing. He, is, I mean, he's more mobile than golf. Yeah, but he doesn't really use it. He doesn't like to get out and extend the, extend plays and go outside of the pocket. And when you take away his first read or pr- provide him with some pressure, he kind of gets timid and backs off. Wasn't so that the, I'd rather have Will Anderson than C.J. Stroud, but I'd rather have Bryce Young than Will Anderson. 